And so there's just this huge block to receiving with spiritual entrepreneurs, lightworkers, and healers where they feel as if success and or money or abundance in any way makes them less spiritual. Right, everybody has their own vibrational frequency that they are offering, which is a direct result of what they're going to attract into their experience. And your soul is fine if you want to live in lack. And your soul is fine if you want to be a multi-millionaire or billionaire or whatever. Your soul is fine with that. You're going to learn your lessons through the experience that you choose either way. One is not more spiritual than the other. Again, you're not more spiritual if you push success away from you or push abundance away from you or sabotage your money or sabotage your clients' uh, strategies to attract clients into your business or anything like that. You're, that doesn't make you more spiritual if you keep success and abundance away from you. All it does is say that you're not open to receiving it at this time and that's not what you're open to receive at this time. It's not one is better than the other. And I would say though, that this number one belief system that plagues so many spiritual entrepreneurs, God, I, every time I look at the timer on this thing, I just get blasted with my angel numbers. And it's like, that's the only time I look at the timer. Um, I will say this though, that I don't, I do not believe that you are meant to serve in lack, that if it is a desire that is planted within you, you have the you are deserving of it to see it in its full fruition. However, your belief systems might not be in alignment with your desire. And so to cover up the lack and, the, and, and, and all the things that are not being uh, fulfilled, then you'll make up excuses that are um, justifications, which is what the ego likes to do to justify why you don't have X, Y, or Z. So you'll label it as bad, you know, because of the success or the money and everything's bad. So your ego will label it as that. But, if you're separating spiritual from money, you're missing the point altogether because everything is spiritual. Listen, this phone is spiritual. This bench that I'm sitting on is spiritual. That water bottle is spiritual. The money that I used to buy the water bottle is spiritual. The money I used to have on a plane to get here so I could record this video in nature while I am in the flow is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. If you are saying that success is not spiritual or money is not spiritual, first you're missing the, point, the entire point of what spiritual really means. It encompasses everything. Everything comes from the essence of the creator. Everything comes from the essence of the divine. Everything. And if you're sitting here trying to like um, sugarcoat your, your situation because you're operating from a place of lack and claiming it as um, more spiritual, this is spiritual bypassing to be honest it's using your own spirituality to keep you stuck in a place of lack instead of truly fully experiencing what it is your soul came here to experience and your soul wants to be free it wants to you know your soul came here to experience lessons too so i'm just saying like your lessons are perfect for you right but but I have to take a sip of water here and digress because I just get so worked up by this comment. By this topic. And it just shows how much more work there is to do and how important this message is because you are not going to be able to show up the same way if you are operating from lack. And if your mission is to hold space for other people to step into their greatness, to, to step into their success, to to see the abundance and the prosperity that is their birthright and, and to help them do that. And you're going to try to do that from a place of lack yourself. There's a wake up call here for a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs, teachers, healers, and light workers that are telling themselves this story. And they see if you have, if you have, you know, a disconnect between spirituality and entrepreneurship or spirituality and abundance, or spirituality and money or spirituality and success, then you're going to have a really bumpy road. 
You're going to have a really bumpy road with your business and that's perfectly fine. It's exactly what your soul needs. But if you're watching this video and you're resonating with this and you're like, yeah, why would I have to settle? Why would I have to be in lack in order to be six in order in order to be spiritual? What, what is it that says I have to not allow abundance into my life so that that way I can be more spiritual. What belief system is really running under the radar there that keeps you telling these stories that it's okay to push away your success and push away to your abundance? Because what I can tell you is when you finally stop doing that and you start to allow, you start to accept and you open to receive and you stop telling yourself the bullshit stories that you need to play small in any area of your life in order to be successful or that your success and your abundance takes away anybody else's ability to be successful as a and abundant as if you have some magical um you know connection to the universe that nobody else has because everybody has it everybody has in the present moment the ability to, to to i don't this is universal everybody has in the in the in the present moment the ability to tap in uh, to what their soul is guiding them to do to their intuition and if they don't know how to listen to their intuition there's ways that they can learn to cultivate that so they can hear their intuition and they can hear when their soul is speaking to them and this is universal so what do you think that you have some like magical you know connection with the universe where it's like oh well if I'm more successful over here then that's gonna take away from them that's a lack mindset and it's also a lack mindset if you think that you have to have you can only have one area of your life being abundant instead of all areas of your life being abundant. And so I just wanted to riff on this really quick because obviously Soul Aligned Success is the name of this series and I see a huge connect disconnect between spiritual entrepreneurship and light workers, teachers and healers that need to really step up as far as their mental blocks and their belief systems and all of the things that keep them playing small, you need to really check your money mindset, look at where you got your belief systems from, look at where you got where you acquired them from and downloaded them from, from your family, from society, and all the bullshit stories that you've accumulated that keep you stuck. Because we all have them. We all have them. And you can buy into them for as long as you want. If you are on the road to spiritual entrepreneurship, and you have a disconnect between spiritual and entrepreneurship, or you have a disconnect between spiritual and success, or you have a disconnect between spiritual and money or spiritual and abundance, then you have a lot of work to do around your limited belief system and money mindset and what it truly means uh, to be in a state of allowing and receiving and really working on some of the belief systems, or you need to keep your day job. One of the two, like your day job or your nine to five or your corporate position is um because you, you're not gonna you're not going to support yourself as a spiritual entrepreneur when you have a huge block around charging receiving being an entrepreneur to be in general and or being a successful entrepreneur unless of course you want to be a starving healer which is what a lot of lot, lot of light workers and healers choose to do and that's your choice really a wound this is a wounded feminine issue energy issue we all have masculine and feminine energies and a lot of the spiritual teachers, healers, and light workers, and they have, they find me, they have, and this is, I'm not, t I'm not talking from the mountaintop. Well, <laughs> actually I am. So I'm on the top of a mountain right now. So, but I've been through this as well, you know, where this, this, the, 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 the underlying question that comes up, who am I to be? Who am I to be successful? Who am I to be abundant? Who am I to be beautiful? Who am I to be powerful? Who am I to be, you know, abundant? I don't know if I already said that, but I think you get the point, right? That's one of the things that pops up. This is the imposter syndrome that pops up so much. And you have to start working on that. You have to start working on that because if you're trying to build a business right now without working on that, you are spinning your wheels and you're going to be in for a bumpy ride. So if this resonated with you, I'd love your questions or comments um, below this video, and I'd love to see you inside the Soul Line Success Masterclass. If that resonates with you, once you take the masterclass, you'll be invited to hop on a 60-minute strategy session with me. Um, uh, and uh, my part of my purpose and part of my mission is to help you be abundantly supported while doing your mission work, while doing while doing what your soul is calling you to do, while stepping fully into your purpose and your power. Stop playing small. Stop with the imposter syndrome. Right? It's it's beat. It's a it's it's over. Right? It's time to rise up and step into your power, and own the shit out of it, and own the shit out of your gift, and own the shit out of your worthiness, and allow all of the divine prosperity, all of the abundance, all of the love 
all of the peace, the ease, the freedom, and the fun, all of it to flow into your experience in perfect, divinely timed ways that will just blow your mind. And if that's what you're ready for, then I would love to help you. Um, so check out the Soul Line Success Masterclass, and I will talk to you again in another episode very soon. Namaste.